All right, good afternoon. I'm joined with Scott Bram and Clint Patman from our WM Jordan team. Really excited about the progress that's been made. It's been several weeks since we uh, gave the last update. Really excited about today. We're actually standing in our new wellness center. So on the first floor of the clubhouse, this is the first time we've been inside of one of the buildings for these updates. Uh, and so right now we're standing about in the aerobics room, gym area. Uh, behind the camera would be the new pool. Uh, so we've seen some of the, the, uh, the footers that have been poured for that. Uh, so Clint, Clint's really been overseeing a lot of this clubhouse construction. Kind of walk us through uh, kind of what we're seeing right here. So what we got is a uh, concrete structure building that comes up out of the uh, garage area with 44 parking spaces. And then we come up to level one, which is an elevated deck to where steel uh, and concrete go vertical to level two. And what you'll see in some of the drone pictures is uh, the wood framing has started, and that's what's really neat. So we've got a steel and concrete podium holding up the wood structure that houses the 44 units that y'all are going to live in. And those will go up vertically from level two to level three to level four, including the roof, and then start moving over um, right to left in the building as it goes vertical. And the roof and the shingles will be installing in those areas. So we're really excited about that, and as Barrett said, we've got the uh, pool in the wellness area and the aerobics area that's over my shoulder that we're looking forward to getting ready for everybody to use. Yeah, I even see that behind the building you've uh, laid some stone, I think this is for the future kitchen, is that yes, right? Yes, yes. We had to, uh, weather's been very difficult, so we've laid some stone so we can continue on with footings of the kitchen, which houses a uh, beautiful eating area and then has the mechanical systems for the main portion of the building. I gotta say, it's a, this is a busy site. I mean, just now we had to stop uh, some saw cutting just because there's so much happening on the campus right now. I know you've dealt with some challenges with yes. with the rainfall. Yes. I think this is the fourth wettest uh, yeah. year. In we've had 60 inches, the, yeah. 60 inches of uh, weather just since the start of this project. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys fighting through, and I know it's kind of a muddy site right now. Uh, but kind of what are the next big milestones that we'll be hitting in the next few weeks? Well, what we have is a, t a large tower crane setup that's helping set the wood wall panel systems. Uh, so really right now the focus is the wall panel systems. We need to get the concrete completed in the second area for where the wood framing will land. Uh, and, and challenges now are just getting out of this wet dirt to get everything on the grade so we can finish the concrete foundations and continue to go vertical. So right now the wood and the core, which is this concrete structure that goes to CMU structure up another three stories to be able to house the wood framing uh, that ties to it. So we're also installing a uh, temporary stair tower so we don't have to climb ladders up uh, five flights of stairs. We have a nice integral stair tower that goes into the core shaft while we build the permanent stairs in the second core so we can go mobile throughout the building. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like because the weather, you, you guys are being very flexible, kind of moving things around. Yeah. Uh, I understand the from our discussions, we've talked about the connectors. We've kind of put that project on hold just for a little little bit of time, shifting Correct. some resources to some other areas. Yeah, the kitchen, uh, access to the kitchen is very integral to connector because once we can continue on with the connectors down to uh, C and uh, D building, we kind of cut off some access to the kitchen. So we're focusing on the kitchen, get the systems for this building, and then we're going to dive into probably February going back down and continuing on with the connectors footings. Okay. Well, I got to say the residents, you know, as we saw that crane come out, uh, just really exciting to see. And I know we, we were all so anxious to see the framing start, to really t see the building take shape. Yeah. Uh, so to watch it now is really amazing to see. And, you know, as you drive in the front entrance, we our new sign has been completed. So you'll see that new Lakewood sign off of Lauderdale. Gives us a nice first impression. You know, that's our front door. We want to make sure we give the best impression possible. Uh, so as people drive through that front entrance, they're seeing that front sign. And then driving up, now you're seeing the clubhouse start to take shape. There'll be a nice portico share to welcome residents, welcome visitors to our campus. Uh, really excited about the presence that we're building right now. Yeah, the, the building's really uh, manageable. It's a huge uh, structure, and once it starts going up vertical, is when, when that tower crane and those panels are set and you start seeing a roof go on, is when it's going together. And if you really get up there on level two, you walk in and you can see the kitchen, you can see the bathroom, you can see the closets, and it's starting to compile itself together. Yeah. All right, it's, you know, we've made a lot of, a lot of, um, 
progress here for the clubhouse. As you see behind us, uh, the new hybrid homes are really taking shape. Those are really moving along fast. Uh, Scott, can you kind of walk us through what we're seeing with the hybrids? Sure, over at the hybrids, uh, one and two, uh, we have got the shingle roof on both buildings, uh, near substantially completed on that. Uh, we've also uh, done a, a significant amount of the brick masonry on hybrid two. Uh, that masonry crew will start moving over to hybrid one and working on the brick veneer for hybrid one. Um, also, we are gonna pour the concrete topping slab on the balconies for both hybrids uh, tomorrow. So that'll be really nice to get that done and the exterior is progressing very well. Um, after the brick masonry is done, then we'll get the siding contractor back and they'll put the hardy plank siding in. Uh, inside the hybrid units, the garage level has a little bit of structural steel. All of that has been fireproofed. Um, and then inside the building, the balance of the miscellaneous framing has been completed. Uh, the ductwork and the plumbing piping is well underway in both buildings. Um, and the electrical rough-in is well underway in both buildings. Um, as well, including the main electrical distribution panels that have been set. So lots of good, fun, exciting things happening in the hybrids. Well, we're really excited about the progress that's being made. So thank you, both of you and your whole teams for really pushing the project forward. I know you're dealing with a lot of challenges with the weather. Uh, we're really excited. Uh, as I talked to the marketing team, you know, the response for this, these new buildings has been incredible. Uh, currently, we only have three apartments available. So of the 64, 61 have been spoken for, which is an amazing number when you still think there's plenty of work that still has to be done. Uh, but the response from the, the Richmond community has been uh, just overwhelming for uh, what, we're, what we're bringing to the west end of Richmond.